All right, hello everybody, it is I, Granorite, and we are back with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald with our Gen 3 type challenge of ground type. We made it to Moss Deep at the end of the last episode, and we're still working on getting the team up to level uh, uh, 20, or 20, 42 for the next gem. So we are going to have to do a little grass trading in this episode, even with us coming up here and doing uh, this area early. But we're going to do what we can to minimize that grass training. Looks like I need a repel. We'll be taking on Tate and Eliza here shortly, which is very exciting. Good speed drop. Not quite enough to take it down. Pretty darn close. All right, well, it looks like by the time we're done here, it's going to be about a level on everybody. Maybe Groudon won't get the level up. Why are you too desynced? There we go. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. At least it went into Groudon and it didn't go into Rhyhorn. No! Why would you do that? Well, Rhyhorn to get the experience, darn it. Now we're sharing a bunch of experience with Nitto King. But Got the foresight and stop. Mm -hmm. 
All right, grass training time, everybody. We're gonna go as fast as we can, but it's gonna take just a little bit still. Especially if we keep getting low level Pokemon. Holy moly. There we go, there's a higher level one. Even then, man, this is gonna take a little bit. Okay. If this is the kind of experience we're getting from this, we're going to move over here. Because we can consistently get more. At least we're outspeeding those uh, oddishes. Oh, that's not the right attack, was it? Almost there, Rhyhorn. Oh my goodness. Evolution! We did it! Huge boost to attack. There he is. Welcome to the team. That's right. All right, what do we know about Rhydon? Rhydon is a large gray bipedal Pokemon with features similar to both dinosaurs and rhinoceroses. Uh, it has narrow red eyes and two fangs in its upper jaw. On the tip of Rhydon's snout is a cream-colored horn, which is smaller on a female than on a male. There are several other spikes and projections on its head. On top is a spike that curves forward, two triangular points resembling ears on the sides. 
um, a wide wavy crest under each ear a, and spiky ridges on each cheek. It has a cream colored abdomen divided by stripes into thin divots. A rocky plate on its chest slightly overlaps its abdomen. There is a row of spikes down its back and they have a long uh, tail with thin black stripes. Rhydon is a physically powerful Pokemon. It is recorded as being able to topple buildings with a sweeping blow of its tail, and its horn can bore through solid rock and shatter diamonds. Rhydon sharpens their horns by clashing them together. Its armor-like hide protects it from heat and physical blows. It is stated to be capable of passing unscathed through streams of magma uh, at 3,600 degrees Fahrenheit and withstanding a direct blow from a cannonball without being harmed. However, uh, because of its tough hide, it is insensitive. Despite being a, its well-developed brain, it can be forgetful. Rhydon lives in rough terrain like caves or in, on top of mountains. Due to its evolution allowing Rhydon to walk on two legs, it can expand its territory to more than a Rhydon's original, Rhyhorn's original habitat limit. And our Gen 3 Pokedex information for Rhydon, Ruby says Rhydon's uh, horn can crush even uncut diamonds. One sweeping blow of its tail can topple a building. This Pokemon's hide is extremely tough. Even a direct cannon hits don't leave a scratch. Sapphire says Rhydon has a horn that serves as a drill. It is used for destroying rocks and boulders. This Pokemon occasionally rams in the streams of magma. Uh, but it, the armor-like hide prevents it from feeling the heat. Emerald says its horn, which rotates like a drill, destroys tall buildings with one strike. It stands on hind legs and its brain is well developed. Fire Red says it begins walking on its hind legs after evolution. It can punch holes through boulders with its horn. And Leaf Green says protected like, by an armor-like hide, it is capable of living in molten lava of 3,600 degrees Fahrenheit. And that is our information on Rhydon. Alright, we still got three more Pokemon to level up. just roars us away come on Pupitar is our other one that'll take a little bit. Just because of its slow leveling rate. Alright, go get some food. We're getting close with Pupitar. Excellent, and that just leaves Quagsire. This is not a good leveling spot for a Quagsire, though. Paralyzed.
All right, there we go. No earthquake for Quagsire. Let's fly back to Moss Deep. Let's give a citrus berry to ride on. Okay, we're going to start with right on a quagsire up front, methinks. Into the Moss Jeep Gym. Good job, right on. Psychic, straight up. Quagsire will take that pretty well. Does not take it out with the uh, with the mud shot. Another future site. Hoder Sleuth, okay. And this is the rock glass, so we get a surfin. That wish is gonna do nothing for you, because you're gonna go down before it goes off. Unless it flinches us with that sir with that stomp. And it did. And it did. All right, let's use a super potion here. Can we yawn on the Wobbuffet and stomp on the Kadabra? do a little attack still did a lot of damage he did Mirko okay excellent good job right on All right, let's swap up Pupitar. Let's return and stop.
good deal. Alright, we have one last room and two more fights to go before Tate and Liza. Get ready, everybody. It's a common. It's gonna be the hard fight. I clicked way too fast and almost took out my own pupitar with mud shot. You need to not do that. Pro tip. Don't click too fast and almost take out your own Pokemon. I don't think we have a lot of good choices here. Nidoking King is not good to go up against Tate and Liza, um, but we're going to use Nidoking. King. In fact, Groudon's probably also not good to use against Tate and Liza because it's going to put the sun up, which is going to help Soul Rock. Um, I think here we target down Claydol because does Claydol have it as the it puts up light screens, doesn't it? Let's just target in the Zatu then. Good flinch. That flinch was from the King's Rock. Now, Soul Rock benefit fits from the sun for Solar Beam. That's not very effective. We got the Shadow Ball off first, though. Ah, it's not enough! Alright, well, there goes Neto King. Uh, let's swap a Pupitar, I guess. Start to bulk up with Groudon. It's just, it's just so, it, it's not enough. Oh, okay, well. Yeah, uh, you're back and we're struggling. We're dying, Christian Amon. We are going to die. Okay, they both targeted into Groudon, which is honestly good. Go to sleep. Stop healing! Ooh, Groudon. Ooh. Ooh. 
Why does it wake up so quick? What's the point of putting it to sleep? Amnesia and heal. Amnesia and heal. Amnesia and heal. Put it to sleep and heal. Surf and heal. You see a pattern? <laughs> All right, I think we've stabilized. Why is this fight so hard? Holy moly. We had some really bad switch-ins, too. Like, a Pokemon got knocked out, and then we swapped it in, and then it immediately got knocked out. That's what happened. Um, we had Pupitar go down to Earthquake from Claydol, and we swapped in Rhydon immediately into a Solar Beam from Soul Rock. And that really did not help us at all. Yeah, that is a tough fight. It is a very tough fight. All right. Well, after that debacle... And all of the Pokemon are immune to ground, so no stab. Yeah, that's the other thing, too. We couldn't use any of our big attacks. Because they were all immune to ground attacks. Well, this is the last ground team, so it's the last time we have to deal with that. Yeah, Groudon did help him by putting up the sun and hurt us by reducing Quagsire's water damage, which was super effective. And we can't get rid of the sun once it's up. Unless we have another, um, another weather move. Excellent. There's always one gym that's hard. For, <laughs> that's hard for most teams. Yeah, in every gym, I so I I think I already know what it's going to be for Gen Four when we do Platinum. I have an idea of what it's going to be for our Fire Red and Leaf Green playthroughs. So I think for Fire Red and Leaf Green, it's going to be Sabrina, still. And her, t her team is just so good. And then for um, Platinum, it's going to be, uh, what's her name? Um, Fantina, is that what it is? It's going to be the third Ghost Gem. All right. I think the thing that was just most surprising about Tate and Lysa's gym is we took out Zatu before it got a single hit in. 
You know, we took out Zatu before it did a single thing, and we still went down to our, our final two Pokemon. Yeah, we did make it through. You are correct. If you didn't take it out, then it could have done some damage. Yeah, I agree. The only reason we took it out without it doing anything is because Groudon flinched it with its slash. And then Nidoking King followed it up with a Shadow Ball and took it out. All right, here we go. Swagger is in the ride on. Okay, I probably should have gave it a person berry. We'll be okay though. Come on, Rhino. We'll be okay. Light screen's nice. I guess we have really high defense. Reflect would also be good, though. No reflect for us, says Matang. Come on, ride right on. Good damage. So, okay, they send out Golbat here. Goodbye, Mighty Anna. Which, honestly, that's a good switch out because they'll get the uh, Intimidate again. Oh, what a flinch. Now we're both confused. Good reflect. Good reflect. Come on, right on. Nice. So then we have the Mighty Inna coming out on this side, which is going to put our attack back down to neutral. There's the Earthquake. We have a Reflect up. We have really high defense. It right on still takes so much damage. It almost takes out its own Mighty Enna, though. I right on, I really need you to get through this confusion. And hit it. Oh, hit it a lot. That's not a lot. Okay, everybody's going down. Everybody on the field. No, right on, you beast. Ba boom. Why would you solar beam? Yeah, Rhydon cannot be taken down so easily. You are correct. Unless you squirt some water on it or throw a leaf at it. <laughs> Don't walk in the grass, Rhydon. Don't walk in the grass. Alright, now we're at a minus one again with the... Um, from the Intimidates.
Yeah, don't, definitely don't walk on the wet grass. If it's early morning, the dew is down, don't do nothing. Times eight damage right there. Oof. Good job, right on. All right, let's heal up. Yeah, they just partnered up. They just partnered up. Now they gotta, we gotta hype up that fight. All right, let's go take on the next trick house. Rumble in the tunnel. That's all. That's that's really good. I like that a lot. That's a pretty catchy tagline. Why is Swablu so tanky? Get out of here. <laughs> Time to get some front row tickets for that. Hopefully it'll happen tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll we'll do what, uh, the time that I am um, I, I originally was going to do today for Pokemon, and so we we will uh, stream around my lunchtime tomorrow. job nice okay well maybe I'll do it later then and just let you uh, make sure you can join in do about the same time that I did today
Because it's currently it's currently 2.15 your time, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Rest of this episode is just going to be us taking on trainers, working it up towards level 46, and then going towards the underwater cavern to kick out um, Team Aqua from down there. Swellow avoids the rock slide. Does it also avoid the rock blast? Does not. Now we're going to have right on target down into this Linoon that comes out. Because don't forget, this Linoon knows Surf. And not that I expect Surf to do a lot to these Pokemon, but it would. Even with that being super effective, Rhydon will take that pretty well. Good job, Rhydon. Let's swap up Quagsire. Quagsire's Water Absorb made Whirlpool useless. Okay, what level... does... Groudon learn Solar Beam? 65? Son of a biscuit. We're going to have to go get that. All right. We're making a detour. If I would have known, I would have got up before Tate and Liza. That would have made things so much easier. Why do I need to obtain what? what? So many hoops to jump through. Give me the Poke Block case so I can go to the Safari Zone. gives this to me
I do not remember the map to this place. Somewhere up in here. Come into the safari zone and spray poke away because I don't want to fight anything. We got it! Well, now I feel like we had a real big missed opportunity going against uh, Tate and Liza and not having Solar Beam ourselves. I'm glad I checked that, though. I, think I needed to switch Pokemon, didn't I? No, everybody's at 43. Uh, did you ever do the Savari Zone trick in Gen 1 to catch the Pokemon there easier? I didn't know there was a Savari Zone trick in Gen 1. Please tell me about the Savari Zone trick in Gen 1 to make Pokemon there easier to catch. Explain. Thunder. When you exit the safari zone, when your steps run out, go to the Seafoam Island and surf on the right side so you're on that line. Got a Pokemon from the... Well, and that's also how you get missing, missing note, isn't it? You get it a different way. Right, there was more steps involved for that one. This way doesn't mess up your game. Gotcha. Stop on that, Machoke. Does it let you get all the Pokemon from the Safari Zone or just specific ones? Like, what about, like, Dratini that you have to fish for?
Just the ones from the area that you can find in the grass. Gotcha. Dratini you just bought from the game corner. Ah, the cheater way. I mean, yeah, that's the that that's pretty legit. All right, let's also go take on these Pokemon around Setopolis. Um, because I'd rather do it while the weather's regular and not going crazy. Swift? What are you doing, star you? Right, I've seen I've seen that video where you like that is a ridiculous setup to get it where it doesn't break your game. Having to fly right as like a trainer engages you. You did the one by Cerulean City going to Bill's house? How does that one work? Stuff I don't know about Pokemon. You have to fight a trainer with the slowpoke on the way to Bill's house, then teleport to Cerulean City. Go back to the trainer to the left of the Nugget Bridge and teleport just as he sees you. Then go back to the Nugget Bridge and a Mew will appear. Oh. So you just like catch an Abra for the teleport? Nice. That is pretty nice. I did. I did try to push the truck by the SSN. Now we can just fly here later. Alright, I do think we're going to end this episode of Pokemon here for today. We will be back tomorrow with more Pokemon. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to be doing an episode of Assassin's Creed here. So for those watching, if you want to follow along for Assassin's Creed, we'll be hopping into that in just a second. Otherwise, we will see you all next time.